When many people are retiring, especially if they are savers, remember folks, this show is geared towards savers. We are not tailoring our information to investors and speculators. Most savers do not like a lot of debt, if any debt, in retirement. So many times they'll come to me and they'll say, Tammy, I've got this big IRA. In this case, we've got a 65-year-old couple. They got a million dollars collectively in an IRA and they got this $250,000 mortgage and they don't want to be straddled with debt. Remember folks, retirement planning is cash flow. So if they have a mortgage payment, of, let's say principal and interest of $1,200 a month and they figure they can pay it off, that's $1,200 a month after tax we don't have to come up with. So these are the types of things a retirement planning specialist such as us can help you with. But there are a lot of ramifications with this. This is a huge decision. So remember, if you're just now joining us, the tax rates today will expire in 2025, some of the lowest I've ever seen, all right? If they go back to the 2017 rates, which we don't know, but that's what a lot of people are thinking, in this example, what will happen and what will be the increase in taxes? So let's walk over, we're on case number three, really interesting scenario. Again, remember the tax rates right now, they're called progressive tax rates, meaning the more you make, the more they take. And if you'll notice over here, the rates for 2027, see how they progressively go up and the income associated with those comes down, meaning you're gonna hit these higher brackets more quickly if we go back to the 2017 rate, which is not good. So what would happen? So first of all, this is a huge decision. If somebody needs 250,000 after tax to pay off a home, well, we're gonna to have to take out a lot more than 250,000 out of this tax infested IRA. In fact, uh, TJ Reagan calculated it's gonna be closer based on this current income, uh, joint income of 89,450 before the withdrawal. It's gonna take about $333,000 gross to pull out of this IRA in order to net the $250,000. So this is a huge decision, but it doesn't stop there because we gotta see what tax ramifications this has. Okay, so under the 20, let's go to the 2023 rates. Okay, this would be 92,000 total, $92,954, all right? So they take out 333,000, remember they got a net 250,000, Plus it's gonna throw them in a higher income bracket on their other, other income that they had coming in. Basically, they're gonna to have to cut a check to the IRS for $92,000. Big number. All right, well what would happen if they put off the decision and they said, I don't wanna pay all those kind of taxes, forget that. And in three or four years they say, you know what, it'd be nice to pay off that home. Well, a little let's say they went back to the 2017 tax rules and they didn't know that. And they come back to us and say, Tony, we've changed our mind. We think we wanna pay off the home. Let's go on and take the tax hit. We're fine with that. Well, what is this really gonna look like? Well, remember, we're assuming now they've gone back to 2017 rates. This is, this is gonna be difficult to, to handle this, okay. Not will it be around $93,000 in taxes. It's gonna jump to $114,000 and federal taxes. Now folks, I don't know about you, not many of you have probably ever had to cut a check to anybody for $114,000, much less the federal government, just to try to pay off your home. So you might say, well, Tony, what's the solution to this problem? Well, the solution is you've got to meet with somebody such as Tony Walker Financial that understands this stuff. Folks, I meet between 20 and 30 people per week. In my profession and doing this in nearly 40 years, I've met with over 15,000 people in person I'm the owner of Tony Walker Financial. This is all we do is retirement planning, and you have the opportunity to speak to me in person about your specific situation. So why in the world would you take advantage of this free offer? Why don't you do this right now? Rather than sitting around waiting to see what happens in 2025, see if we can get a game plan now to do something about these taxes. Thanks for watching. We hope you enjoyed that video. If you'd like, check out these other clips, and be sure to hit that like button and that subscribe button for more videos.